less than a week after the Niger junta kicking out the U.S. military and Department of Defense personnel from its territory by cancelling the agreements that led to the establishment of the U.S. military base at Agadez in Niamey, China has swiftly moved into action to fill the void that will be left by the United States as its ties with the Sahel country deteriorate. China, which has a strong presence on the African continent, courtesy of its soft policy strategy, under the guise of the Belt and Road Initiative, already has good relations with Niger, going by the mega-projects that it has undertaken in the country in the recent past. However, to take advantage of the Americans' exit, which will by the way translate to a substantial loss of development partnerships for Niger, since the agreements that were cancelled were partly connected to America's commitment to finance Niger's development programs, China has quickly shown interest to stand in as Niger's biggest development partner, and by this, try to wean the Sahel country from France and U.S. dependence. We say this because on March 20, 2024, that is four days after the Niger junta kicking out the Americans, the Chinese government sent its special representative for African affairs, Mr. Liu Yushi, to Niamey to meet the authorities in Niger and literally say that China is here in case you don't need the Americans. The Chinese special envoy who was accompanied by a Chinese delegation, first met with Niger's Prime Minister, Ali Mohamed Lamin, who also doubles as Minister of Economy and Finance, and in the aftermath of their exchanges, this is what the Chinese had to say. We talked about our beautiful relationship, our friendship, and the great cooperation between our two countries. Both parties reiterated the firm desire to strengthen our friendship and to continue all the projects under our cooperation, which correspond to the interests of the people in our two countries. And there is another important subject, which is that, this year, there will be a forum for cooperation between China and African countries, and thus, we have launched an invitation to the Niger leaders to participate in the summit that is in autumn this year. It's worth noting that this visit by the Chinese envoy confirms China's desire to not only be Niger's biggest development partner, but also hints at its eye on Niger's uranium deposits, which have for years been exploited by France and its Western allies. Then, since the Niger junta kicked out France, and it is now in the process of seeing off the Americans, China is seemingly interested in finding access to Niger's uranium and thus expand its mining portfolio on the African continent, a portfolio that spans from Sierra Leone to the Democratic Republic of Congo to Zambia and so on. Among the many projects that China has financed in Niger in the recent past include this 3.6-kilometer General Seni Konche bridge that was built on River Niger in Niamey, and opened on February 18, 2021, under President Isafu Mamadou. Another project is this $60 million Niame General Hospital, which was opened in 2017, and has a bed capacity of 500, and offers emergency services, cardiology services, laboratory services, 16 operation rooms, a blood bank, and imaging facilities. Anyway, do you approve of Niger's relationship with China, or do you see it as a mere change of masters? if indeed the people of Niger will lease out their resources to foreigners to exploit, instead of exploiting them, themselves? Leave your thoughts on this in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe before leaving.